everybody, Coconutty and Scrums here. Welcome back to Perfect Days. <laughs> I totally spaced out and forgot the name there for a second. <laughs> but, you know, we just did the previous recording. Now we're making another recording of it because this thing is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, it is. Yep. <clears throat> so, anyway, let's just get in here. Go straight in. We're just going to just dive right in here and continue where we left off. So, we headed down to the beach, the professor explaining things as we go. Which, so, basically, overview, if nobody watched the last episode, we just kind of showed up to this island. We're doing research. Yeah, supposedly filled with cats. cats. Yeah. There's, like, four people. Yeah, and there's, like, four people here, and this is the guy who's basically telling us what to do, and he gave us all our fun equipment and stuff like that. The mixture of terrain <laughs> on Cat Island is quite unique. Even in such a relatively small area. You'll find fortresses, mountains, jungles, beaches, blah, 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 blah. God. All of these different <laughs> geological zones. Your road is really remarkable. <laughs> now what is he turning into uh, Scooby-Doo? <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is. <clears throat> Even the lack of wildlife is in itself quite remarkable. You still bring up with me. What do you mean, <laughs> Professor. Well, put simply, there is a type of force field that surrounds the island, disallowing anything to enter. That's kind of, um... Then we don't know what yeah, it is. We're just mean... studying the cats. <laughs> <laughs> we're just here for the cats. We don't know what this is. We, we don't know what this magical force field is. You mean literally anything? Absolutely. No birds, fish, <laughs> creatures of any kind can penetrate it. Yeah, it's quite. Forgive my lack of intelligence on this subject, but, uh... <laughs> We're here. <laughs> We're here? Huh? 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 The professor lets out a disconcertingly loud laugh. <laughs> disconcertingly loud laugh. Ah! I see what you mean. Yes, but <clears throat> there's no force field. <laughs> well, there is, of course, one small break in this invisible wall. And that is where we built the jetty. I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> of course But not. let's not get too bogged down in all this right now. What we do need to know is the basically the island is shaped like a peanut. Okay, so it's full of cats and it is peanut shaped. And there's a force field. Yep, and there's this magical that force field. He says. That... Yeah. I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he has picked up a nearby stick and draws a simple map in the sand. There, that's This a is our end of the island. It is the very well known to us now. We've been researching here for many years. We still don't know where that force field is. <laughs> it's just magically. The other end is not so familiar to us. We have encountered difficulties that hindered our progress in this region. But mainly of- Whoa, ah! whoa, whoa. What was that? <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what type of difficulties, Professor? Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. They, they can't just do that. <laughs> what? What just happened? Continue. Well, we're not as sure as we'd like to be, but what I can tell is that the environment has an adverse effect upon humans, inducing nausea at the very least. Well, then why are there people there? <laughs> and the... Uh, uh, <laughs> and the worst? Fainting, migraine, nerve damage, Oh my death. gosh. Gosh, that is serious. Mild allergies. Ah, oh, as I say, it's best to keep away. But let's not go into all that now, dear. You don't. We're on this island. You're not getting paid. We don't. Care. <laughs> you're just. You're just an intern. <laughs> You've had a long day. For now, let's just say that we'll refer to the far end of the island, the danger zone, for good reason. Danger. I, I feel the same way, Draggy. I am just as confused as you are. I must ask you not to put yourself at risk by venturing beyond this mountain range camp. Okay. He refers to the map once again, drawing a line just <coughs> past the center and an X through the end section. <clears throat> there are wild, aggressive cats out there with ninjas and knives. And... <laughs> I wouldn't want you to get too close to them. I like our fellows closer to home. Let's closer to home. Uh huh. <clears throat> he <laughs> he has led me to a spot where a few cats are lo lounging about. This one's Carl. 
What do you say we try our catalog now, Draggy? Sure. He stoops down and picks up one of the animals, a disgruntled looking cat who was sleeping under the shade of a palm tree. Hey, get out of here! Whoa! That <laughs> cat. That cat's kind of a little disturbing. That cat lets out a dis displeased mule. A mule! <laughs> 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 but doesn't struggle. It's large body blowing with long orange fur. It sort of hangs in the processor's arms like a like arms lazy in lazy resignation. Resignation. I can't Would you like to have a good old scanning life from Japan? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I find the on switch and somewhat timidly activated. <laughs> Just shot. <shocked. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> That'd be terrible. <laughs> 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 the catching immediately goes to artificial life, emitting a sound with a red pulsating light. It's pulsating. It's like <laughs> 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 select the app labeled cat scan. And it loads instantly. There's no delay on this thing. Yeah. The professor holds the cat toward me with it his arms like outstretched. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not, apparently. I'm sure he said the scanning chip is implanted into the back of the neck somewhere, but it's difficult to find this one's neck amidst the thick cloud of fur. Aw, he's not fat. He's just fluffy. <laughs> I blow to make a parting... Or, I blow... To make a parting and press the catalog <laughs> to his skin. It is a bit like scanning groceries in the supermarket where I used to work. Fantastic. That should do it. Forever. <laughs> and he plops the marmalade tom back into the shade. Sure enough, upon withdrawal, I find the cat has been successfully scanned. <laughs> yeah. Floofy butt! Oh, I like Floofy. that name. It's He's... so cute. Yeah. <laughs> he looks a little sassy. Uh, yeah. He's like, mm -hmm. you. Floofy butt. No, you don't get him. He's Ten years, so four months, cute. red tally, Persian, eye color red. That's kind of scary. His eye color is red. Then you're the <laughs> local. Locals for too long. Amazing! Clever, isn't it? A large part of your job here will be to tag and scan the cats, such as Mr. Fluffy Butt. Or Floofy. Floofy Butt. Floofy Butt, I'm sorry, my whiskey is out. <laughs> He's sobering up. <laughs> Quick, But it looks whiskey. like you'll have no problems at all in that area. Excellent work, Dreggy. Yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I can't wait to get started. You okay, sir? You, you <laughs> Hairball. <laughs> <laughs> Well, why don't you get a bit more practice with the catalog and scan the rest of them while we're here. These five spend a lot of time together. They're like a family, aren't they? Look at my eyes! <laughs> <laughs> the weed is kicking in! <laughs> oh, yes, you are! <laughs> this special brownies he ate earlier. Yeah. We're finally kicking in. Whiskey! <laughs> 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 the professor seems to be a genuine cat lover like me. I think we're going to get along great. Okay, here goes. No help this time. The professor steps back. The first cat I approach is very friendly with beautiful calico markings. It comes towards me already purring. Hmm? Aww. Trixie. Trixie. Look at it, stubby little legs. So cute. Oh, she's winking. Trixie, female. I think she's just Three blind years, in eight, one eye. <laughs> eight months. Calico. American joy. Color green. Why do you all? <laughs> Next is an elegantly careless cat sitting gracefully in the sun. He doesn't pay me much attention and allows me to... In, uh, she doesn't pay me much attention and allows me to scan her with minimal fuss. Oh. <laughs> Snooty booty. <laughs> Snooty booty. booty. I named this one when I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. Look, one eye. Booty. <laughs> Snooty booty. Female. 11 years, 1 month. Breed. Sphinx. Eye color. 
Blue. Doesn't look like your eye color is blue. It looks like a black hole. <laughs> the the fourth cat I approach is a noise a noisy. noisy one. Yeah, noisy. No, nosy. 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 Yum 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 My mind has just been blown. <laughs> <laughs> that was what that glitch was. Yep. And finally, the one I've deliberately put off until last. He's been stalking around the edges of the actor eyeing me suspiciously and through, and though he <laughs> could pounce on any moment. For some reason, he has a knife. <laughs> <laughs> what is, why does he have a knife? Oh, oh. <laughs> I, thought, I laugh at myself, already projecting personalities onto these animals. <clears throat> Kibbles. Hiss. That is a nice photo. Hiss. He's like, hey, baby. No, this one. Yeah, but look, look at him. He's like, hey, baby. <laughs> He's smirking. You want to come get some coffee with me later? See, Kibbles has two eyes. Yeah, Kibbles, male, three years, white, British, long hair, color green. All done. I hope you're enjoying meeting some of the locals. I've been drinking my whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my tea. <laughs> The <laughs> professor lets out a little laugh. <laughs> I have a feeling you'll get to know them quite well in time. It's probably <laughs> enough for your first day, don't you think? It's quite a lot to take in. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I'm suddenly exhausted and grateful to be heading back to Camp What? The way I picked up five cats. Yep, it was and, a lot and of like, work. And deep, scanned them. Deep. Yeah. A man. <laughs> Tough work. Yep. Good thing I'm Hard not getting day. paid. Yep. Good thing it's all free. Free labor. Free. Man, she's just she's just as messy as the professor is. It's quite late by the time we've unpacked and settled. By the time I've unpacked and settled myself, but I want to write my journal. I want to write my journal entry before I sleep. I'm surprised at how chilly it is. I have pulled my sleeping bag right up to my chin, but I still feel goose pimples bloom over my arms. Shivering, I rub them to warm myself up. Goose pimples? I would say goosebumps. Goosey balls. <laughs> it makes me smile. I think that this inherent reaction to the cold is what will be keeping my new feline friends warm tonight. My eyelids close, thinking of cats, and the island, and the professor. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> <laughs> the world around me drifts away as I float up into a dream. What? Something is going on. Yeah, so something really weird is going on, because that's like the second time that Screen has done this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's weird. What's going on, you might wonder? The shadow knows. Ah, uh, the shadow knows. <laughs> I'm not sure how long I've been asleep, but I wake up with a violent jolt, and that leaves me sitting bolt upright. It's too dark to see anything, but I hear a rustling, and then a strange electronic noise. One that in my sleepy confusion I can't place right away. Boop, 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 boop. I am robot. <laughs> The catalog? Acting on instinct, I scamble to my- Scamble. I scamble. I scramble to my feet <laughs> and follow the noise out of the tent. I look around me and my fears are confirmed when I catch sight of a pulsing red light getting fainter in the direction of the forest. I snap into action, running as fast as I can. Barefoot, dressed in my pud- Wow! Wow! Do you see that Y and J there? They're, they're like <laughs> they're like merging into each other. Pajamas, running at full speed into the forest in the dark of night. I must be crazy. Yes, you are. You're on. You're a cat lady on an island filled with cats <laughs> and like three people. <laughs> the words of Professor Bopper are running in my ears, ringing. ringing. I'm in the protection of my house. 
Protect what? He was half asleep. That's why he was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my legs are trembling beneath me. The catalog, by the way. Oh, okay. I stop, feeling my heart beat heavy throughout my body. I wheeze in and out. Man, you sound like you got some asthma. You might want to get that checked. My look breathing the, well, flowing at, in front of me in point Look puffs. at the pollen in the air. Yeah, all that pollen. Must have some allergies. Some severe allergies. You need to get that looked at. <clears throat> I shouldn't feel like this. Why am I so dizzy? I try to get my bearings and I realize I've blundered perilously close to the danger zone. I can just make out the shapes of some large animals in front of me before my eyes close and I drop to my knees. My knees. Yeah. Whoa. <clears throat> Monica's here. Monica's here. <laughs> That's another game we need to play, is Doki Doki Literature Club. That'd be a fun game. <laughs> I open my eyes. The calico cat I scanned yesterday is sitting in front of me. She drops the catalog at my feet. What? <laughs> what did that even say? I pass out. <clears throat> I pass out. It keeps saying something. Say, turn back. Probably. Go home. Hello, can you hear me? Fluffy butt! Mr. McMurphy. Are you a... What, what, what kind of voices are we giving these guys? Kibbles. Yeah, we'll figure it out. What is it? Don't be ridiculous, Kibbles. It's a human. Yeah. Oh yeah, yuck. Can smell it now. Smells like a human. Oh, do be quiet. Are they alive? Of course they're alive. He's breathing. You imbecile. <laughs> You're gonna forget which one's which. I know. I already <laughs> forgot which one is which. Why is it? Why is it? Moving? How about that? Okay. <clears throat> Did you come on and give this them some space? Move back a bit. Yes. I, I don't remember. Yes. Stand back. Move out of my way. Let me have a proper look. There we go. That sounds good. <laughs> I begin to come to. The Sphinx cat is standing over me. As I open my eyes, we stare at each other for a moment while I try to take in what's happening. <clears throat> Is this one defective? Oh, I feel sick. I'm gonna puke. The cat watched me intently. Is it my <laughs> Am I going insane? Ouch, my head! <clears throat> what is it chattering about? They're scared and confused. Let me talk to them. Um, human, are you all right? You! I remember! You took my catalog! Oh, but I gave it back to you. It's back in your pocket now. I try to reach in my pocket and realize my hands are scratched to shreds. Ow, 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 what's wrong with my hands? I try to stand. Ow, 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 my feet, what happened to me? Yeah, uh, I guess that's from all the climbing. I told you, it wasn't ready for that. What's that ready for what? It's an medical structure is far too delicate. I tried to slow it down. Yeah, floof. Yeah, floof. You try <clears throat> restraining a human who's that determined. It was a marigal. A marigal. It's an alarming structure. Didn't seem that delicate to me. I was like, what? Doing what? You made your own way back to the beach. Okay, but that doesn't explain. I show my bleeding hands. Ah, you crawled. Kara! Kara? Who's Kara? That's not my name. It's a term of endearment. It's an Irish thing. It's inappropriate. Well, wait, if he's Irish, I'm wait, give him an Irish. I crawled. <laughs> yeah, she <a> short head. <laughs> <laughs> like a cat. Yep. <laughs> All the way from the mountains. 
Like a bleeding mountain lion. Impressive. <laughs> <laughs> but why? Because you got the sickness. Shh. Uh, maybe you should sit down, human. We need to have a talk. Possibly a long talk. Talk! Yes, that's, that's right. Since when can cats talk? Oh, for goodness sake. There's a dawn of time. How else do you think we communicate? <laughs> oh, stop splitting whiskers, my dear. <laughs> you know full well that the human is saying. I think the revelation here, Kara, is that you can understand us. <laughs> Yes, that too. Will someone please explain what the heck is going on here? Well, don't we don't fully understand everything ourselves, at least not all the details of how this works. I think being stood in a forest surrounded by a bunch of talking cats is about as much as anybody would want. <laughs> I agree. The more and more to the point. We were rather hoping you would be able to help us. You are the scientist, after all. What we do know is that the clock started ticking for you. Clock started ticking for you? For you. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, there's no easy way to say this, Kara. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be gratified. I'll be what? Whether you help... Whether you help or not, you don't have a lot of time before... Ahem. <clears throat> if I may. It would seem... It would seem, and we are basing this on our experience to date, that when a human manages to find themselves in what I believe you call the danger zone, they are vulnerable in ways that they previously would not. That is to say... Yes, Creed! Actually, yes, Creed. You're not helping! Don't make me! Yes. <laughs> that was a terrible hiss. <laughs> oh, mountain lion! There'll be no violence of any kind! Ah! Clicked out of the game! Ah! No! No! Okay, we're back. No <laughs> violence of any kind! <laughs> Forgive me for being a bit panicked here. <laughs> the vulnerability to which Snooty Booty was referring is simply put, if you are bitten or scratched by an elder cat within the danger zone, you will begin a process of change that ultimately will result in a full feline transition. Wh whisper. Catified. <laughs> he still looks like he's like, hey baby. <laughs> Catified. <laughs> <clears throat> so basically, you're telling me I'm a were cat? I look down, and, and amongst the scratches of my own right hand are two distinct puncture marks. The reality of my situation descends on me like a cold mist. Basically. Yes. <laughs> 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 my head is spinning. This is too much for me to take in. Take a breath now, Kara. You're not looking so good. What? Have I started to change? I feel my head for ears, for everything seems to be normal. No. I just meant you're looking a bit shaky. Understandably so. Quite. Maybe. I take a few deep, steady breaths. And calm myself enough to say, um... Okay, so why? How? What? <laughs> Give me some data. What have you got so far? Look, I'll answer everything that we can, but the truth is we have more questions than answers ourselves. Yeah, we always used to be human. <laughs> <laughs> so you said you need my help. What exactly would that entail? That's you. Yeah, That's I'm, you, I'm trying Mr. to remember Kibbles. his voice. <laughs> We're finding a friend would be a start. The cats on this island, they're going missing. We don't know what's happening to them, but the body count is rising and we've hit a wall. A wall of ignorance, maybe. Well, really, how many times do I have to tell you? The mules are to blame. The mules. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mueller's. I think Professor Per 
pauper yeah. is, is stealing them. Mm-hmm. Now, Fluffy Boot, there is no need for name-calling. Speaking of name-calling, I'll remind you to call me Major Madame. Look, they can't help the way they are. It's lack of breeding, you know. Overbreeding, if you ask me. Again, Eulers! They're the elder cats on the island. They're the elder cats, the island originals. They can't speak the way we can. Hence the derogatory term Mueller's. And how are they to blame exactly? Well, if I knew that, there would be no need for this elaborate kidnapping. It's hardly proven to be a roaring success after all. Look, Kara, all we know is that we are no longer safe on the island. The elders who have lived within the danger zone are hostile towards us. Not sure why, it's just always been that way. And now, because cats are being taken nowhere else is safe either. My voice for him is going all over the place. <laughs> yeah. you, you expect the occasional mishap. We live in an undomesticated world here, after all. But lately, cats have been disappearing almost every day. Even the last human we got to find went missing. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, we turned a person into a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not open old wounds, Kibbles. Yes, onward. Uh, yes, onwards and upwards. Well, first things first, this were-cat thing. Gatif Gatification. <laughs> Transition. Whatever. How does it work? Time passes and you transform into a cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that face. I thought she <laughs> liked cats. <laughs> yeah, but not to be one. It's a gradual process. It's different for everyone, but you won't just turn overnight. Yeah, hands are turning. The clock is ticking, however. The first side effect of the transition is being able to understand us. Well, some of us. Not elders, obviously. <laughs> Not all the domestics, either. Yeah, that you have, I think, things. The increase of jelly and the crazy body's hair stuff. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 Let's not worry about the human with all the details just yet. I assume there's an antidote? No. <laughs> I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed in that assumption. Hang on. You said there was someone else who you'd put in this position. Well, let's hope you're a better bet than they were. Unfortunately, they weren't able to discover an antidote or get our friends back. I know we're not sure. Well, <laughs> really? <laughs> Trade. <laughs> Get him. Huh? <laughs> you have us now giving him a little more. So, what do you say, Kara? So, so, what do you say, Kara? You need to help us. Alright, do you want to help the kitties? Or well, Actually, we'll be your senior professor. Oh, yes, yeah, quite. Yeah. Okay. Alright, guys. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode and we'll continue this. Yep, see ya. So we'll see ya. Bye! Bye.